And the war between Ukraine and Russia is having a number of impacts closer to home, and that includes on crops. Ukraine provides 10% of all the wheat in the world, and farmers here are now looking to try to fill that void. WCCO's John Lorson shows us why future fall harvest may also be a time of planting. October in Minnesota means harvest time for corn and soybeans. But as those crops leave the fields, another crop is going in. Historically, we are a spring wheat country. Minnesota spring wheat, Mill City, that was all built on spring wheat. Joachim Wiersma is a small grains agronomist with University of Minnesota Extension. Spring wheat is planted in the springtime and harvested closer to fall but near the town of Becker. So it's about an inch and a half below the soil surface. Wiersma is trying to see if there's a future for winter wheat and winter rye. Those crops are planted in the fall and then go dormant in the winter. They actually thrive under the snow. If you have snow cover, that helps greatly. Four inches of snow is a great insulation insulator. It's actually easier in Manitoba, believe it or not, because you have more snow cover. As soon as the snow melts, winter wheat starts growing, and by the end of May, it will already be three or four feet high. Wiersma says Minnesota's fake springs make it tricky to grow the crop. That's why he's closely monitoring the hundreds of test plots he planted this fall using different seeds. But he believes in the future. This could be a third crop that fills a void. He says climate change, economic issues, and a war overseas mean more wheat could be needed. That little advantage of starting now and starting earlier in the spring already makes that difference happen. Until now, Minnesota's harsh winters have made it hard for anything to survive in December, January, and February. But Weersman believes that if this works, it could also help with wind and water erosion. That's why these tests are so important. Do they fit in Minnesota? Do they like being in this neck of the woods? I just want to be prepared. If the questions come, I'd like to have the answers beforehand. In Becker, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Kansas and Nebraska already grow a lot of winter wheat, and the feeling is that Minnesota could join them if the U of M can find the best seeds to use. The winter rye is used to help feed swine in Europe right now, and it's believed it could also do the same for pigs here.